Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Tan in this channel. In this video today, I will play test the Solingo Whiteout, both the 16x19 version that came out a year ago and the 18x20 version that just been released weeks ago. Spoiler alert, this is probably the first time that I prefer the 18x20 version more than the 16x19, which is pretty surprised to me because you guys know how much I like the open string pattern given my top spin game. So it's got to be pretty good. In summary, I think the new whiteout 18 by 20 is a whole package. But first, let's see the spec. Well, both of them have 98 square inches head size, 305 gram unstrung, uh, 33 centimeters strung balance, same beam at around 22 millimeters. So it's pretty identical on the paper except for the string pattern. The swing weight on the Tennis Warehouse website on both rackets seem pretty close to each other. But on my racket, the 16x19 has about 315 swing weight, while the 18x20 has 320 swing weight. So they are a bit under spec. At first I planned to add a bit of lead, but I didn't because I can play on the stock form just fine on both rackets. Um, the string on both of them are Solingo Confidential 3.0 17 gauge strung at 48 pounds tension. So we can be sure that the differences on these two rackets uh, in this play test will definitely come from the racket itself, not the string. If you like this video so far, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tennis content. And if you want to help the channel growing, you can do so by donating through Buy Me A Coffee. I will put the link below. Thank you. Well first, let's start with the 16x19, just briefly to get the idea of the racket before moving on to the new 18x20. First impression? Well, it's just another fine racket for me. Nothing wows me that much. Uh, it has decent power, moderate spin, medium launch angle, um, control is good enough. It's easy to maneuver, moderate forgiveness. I don't feel like it offers like very large sweet spot or very small sweet spot. It was like somewhere in the middle. I can hit my backhand just fine. Good pops on the first service. What I don't like on this racket First thing is the feel. Well, it has a hollow feel and the racket is quite stiff. Off center hit uh, feels jarring and I can feel the vibration comes from the frame down to the handle and directly into my arms. This goes against like new rackets these days that trying to dampen the vibration more and more. My right arm and elbow were sore after hitting with this racket for just half an hour. I know for a fact that this racket could hurt me in the wrong run eventually, and I think it could be better to string with softer poly with more power. Not this very control oriented, uh, under power stiff string, so that I don't have to overdo it on the swing and risk hurting myself like this one. Another thing I don't like is the backhand slice. I feel like I sent it flying and I didn't hit the right spot. And on the control, it's pretty okay on the baseline rally, especially when aiming for like large target. But when I accelerate or aiming for the line or the corner, especially when I really focus on getting the point, I tend to overheat it both long and wide. Let's move on to the main cause of this video, which is the Solingo White Owl 18x20. Well, first I gotta say that this is an improvement from the 16x19 version because basically it can do everything that the 16x19 can do, but with added control, the comfort and feel. Well, first thing that surprises me the most is the spin potential and the launch angle this racket can generate. I was like, well, it's not very different from the 16x19 that much. Of course, it's less topspin, but 
I don't think it's that serious. Uh, access to spin is probably the easiest among the 18 by 20 racket that I play test before. You know, I tend to have issues with top spin and launch angle with dense pattern because um, I don't hit flat and I'm not strong enough to get that much top spin out of this dense pattern. But on this one, well, no problem at all. This is weird, but in a good way though. One thing that's a big improvement is the comfort. This racket gives more plush at contact. The hollowness disappear and replace with the solid, a bit dampened feel. It's way more comfortable to play with, to be honest. I really don't understand this because the flex rating of the racket stated in the Tennis Warehouse website is at 66 on both equally but anyway it's still firm for players with sensitive arms the white out 18 by 20 is almost as fast as the 16 by 19 very maneuverable on the court but i think it's a bit better stability and plow on the ball but this could be because mine has higher swing weight so i don't want to judge that because the swing weight is not exactly match anyway the power level on this one is just a bit less than the 16x19. I can still access the power pretty easily. On the baseline, I think I can hit better with the push through the short kind of swing. This also applies to the 16x19 as well. I try to strike the ball fast, uh, rushing the ball, snapping the ball, or taking big swing at the ball, but didn't work as much as when I just setting up the racket face with compact backswing and pushed through and extended toward the target. Pretty much the same way I normally go on my Technifiber T Fight 315. Well, leave the comment below what you guys think about this Lingo Whiteout both versions. On the control, well, you know it's gonna be better. I definitely feel more in control of my shots, and more confident on the attack. At least it prevents me from overheating long. And I can also get good margin above the net with the spin. On the directional control, this one is also better than 16 by 19 Anyway, I still think that the control and stability on the blade, on the E-zone and the T-fight are just a bit better. On the slice, okay, way better than the 16x19. Now the ball doesn't float that much. I can put it low just at net level. The ball goes deep and dip after the bounce. On the serve, I think the angle is a bit lower than my other rackets. I have to hit the ball higher or toss it back a bit. Uh, moderate power and spin on first and second serve. And on the volley, rock solid way stable than 16 by 19 and the racket is very maneuverable at the net in summary i think the slingo white out 18 by 20 is the way to go it's a solid racket to play with and it's a whole package it has everything you would ask for the power spin and control it's a good blend and it's a racket that's not very demanding because um, the swing weight and the weight are not that high. I think intermediate players can play with it just fine as well as upper level players, of course. So who would I recommend this racket to? Well, I think it's an all-court racket. Great from the baseline, good at the net, good at service return. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.